St. Elizabeth is a great organization. They do so many things for our community, both on both sides of the river. Uh, we take care of the needs of a lot of disadvantaged uh, children and adults, and it's been a pleasure for me to serve uh, on the board to uh, help out those who are in need. I've always been a believer in giving back to the community, and if I had time to do what needs to be done, uh, I'm more than happy to jump in and do as much as I can. And I served on the on the uh, board here at St. Elizabeth for 12 years or so, and served as uh, vice president and president for a couple of terms as well. So it was uh, I got a lot more out of it than I put into it. So I felt very fortunate to have that opportunity. When we had a bit of a crisis at one point in time and lost our executive director, Paige was the guy who stepped up. He had a full-time job, he was working, but he also made the time to make sure that the mission of St. E's was accomplished and had leadership and uh, stepped in when we needed it very badly. So I remember especially from, from all times with him, he always had a smile, always had a great handshake, always dressed impeccably. <laughs> and. Uh, uh, it was just a delight to deal with, even when we had disagreements. Paige is a wonderful person. He, uh, uh, he was in a banking business, and he handles himself that way. A lot of integrity, a lot of knowledge, uh, very good with numbers. And uh, I, many times, Paige says, well, I think we can do that. We, we, can, we can make that happen. Paige has a lot of respect from a lot of people in the community. I think Paige's greatest contributions to St. Elizabeth is what I would consider the glue of an organization. That calm, strategic leader, he has a way of asking the tough questions and moving the group towards a solution, which is hard to do, and he's been able to do that for us. When Paige stepped in as interim director, uh, everybody was uh, impressed with how he handled that situation. He just remained st stable and, and he was a good force behind all of us and uh, just a, a good, strong leader. Paige brought a skill set that was unique being a banker. Very process oriented, uh, very mission driven, uh, yet he had a way of motivating the team to carry out the objectives, whether that was as council president or you know, the, the individual in charge of development, bringing in the funds to support the ministry. Uh, Paige was a doer. He, you know, he went hands on and he went and made calls and asked, you know, the hardest thing to do is ask people for money and Paige was not reluctant to go ask and, and convince people they wanted to be involved as part of our mission. Paige has shown the most outstanding dedication and is always around when you need him. I really credit Paige with taking the development activities of St. Elizabeth's to a whole new level. He pursued it all with a dog determination that was really remarkable to watch. When I got involved with St. Elizabeth way back uh, 15, 16 years ago, uh, it was just a small uh, organization. Uh, uh, did a lot of good back then and, and it's been just wonderful to watch the growth that uh, St. Elizabeth has had since I initially got involved and I feel very fortunate that it's come a long way since my beginning here at St. Elizabeth. Paige's involvement in St. Elizabeth was critical. Uh, without people like Paige and giving their time, talent, and treasure, St. Elizabeth simply would not exist and would not be able to offer the services we do today.